Uh, this is um, one of the first major pieces that I bought in my collection. It's an Ebo shrine figure. And uh, this piece was deaccessioned from the uh, De Young Museum, I think, in the, in the 90s. This piece is um, 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 AFO, A F O, and it's a, a smaller group uh, in um, near and near in, and interspersed within the Yoruba uh, cultural uh, area in uh, Nigeria. And um, it's a very rare piece. It's a very beautiful piece. And just quickly, the um, the infant was attached to the mother after she had had it. And this is not an unusual practice. Sometimes they're carved directly into it. This is an Igbo shrine piece, another, um, it would have served the, the entire community. Um, it is a mother um, and child, uh, which, 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 which really significant about the piece is how the, the infant lays across the mother's um, uh, lap. She is seated, which is in a, a very important position, and also nurturing the infant. It's a very powerful piece, one of my favorites in the collection. This is an interesting uh, combination of three different pieces. One is the um, uh, diviner's uh, stand or platform where um, articles might have been placed during a particular ceremony. Then there is the actual Ife uh, figure, uh, the female in uh, sublimation in a kneeling position holding the breast, which is uh, unique in uh, the African iconography of uh, supporting life. And then there's the, the uh, bowl on top that was added on later. And this is very interesting because within the bowl, there is these different compartments that the diviner would have used. So it's a very, so what I've done is that I've simply put this piece on a diviner stand. So it's a combination and, and I think it makes a beautiful edifice. <laughs> it, it, it loses me right now, but the um, the uh, fire axe uh, wand, which is also uh, female, and this is um, the uh, the thunder. This is a cap mass, um, and it's the hunter's cap mass, and this would have been worn on the top or uh, sported as though it were a cap, and then attached to the head. The uh, material. It's evidence of what is exposed here and what is not would have been covered up and there's tacks in it that with material would have been tacked into this piece. So this, really this is just the, uh, just the basic uh, cap itself without the, the, the other materials that would have, that would have uh, uh, gone with the piece. Uh, the colorant, uh, this piece was actually painted. It's uh, through time, it's sort of um, uh, become less obvious. And also this part of the, the, the hunter's cap was attached as a separate piece. Sometimes they're carved as one piece, but this was attached skillfully to the to the cap. This is um, uh, uh, from the Bamina group in uh, Mali, uh, sometimes Burkina Faso, and it's a door lock, and so it's a very beautiful old one. Uh, I really like the aesthetic of the Bamina because they they hit the uh, uh, kind of abstract purity that is so sublime, and this is one style within that group.